Hey Basement Collective, thank you for watching another Basement Collective video. Actually today we have a treat for you and we have the first video in a series of um, basically tutorials. Now today what we're going to do is we're going to magnetize an orc boy. <clears throat> now sorry about that, you can use this tutorial to magnetize anything in the 28mm scale. Uh, Terminator, Marine and so forth. I just found this orc boy in my bits box. so. I'll that's what we're going to use today now I'm just um no I do apologize it's my first time recording I believe we need to get a better uh, what's it called um tripod to get an overhead view but we'll do it this way so I'm just gonna go through what I need so we have magnets <coughs> now uh, I chose to use the three millimeter magnets for the arms and I'm just showing you that they fit really well and then the other magnets you're about to see are four millimeter magnets and that's gonna be for the base now I'm just gonna show you now uh, I'm just going to show you the magnets and how they fit onto the orc. Okay, now I'm just showing you the magnet size. Now we have a 1mm magnet thickness for the 3mm and a 4mm. Now we have our drill. Now this is actually a cordless screwdriver. Now I think it goes at 200 RPMs a minute. I do prefer that over... Uh, we'll come back to that, but that's just a file. You'll see what that's used for. Now it's on a plain X-Acto knife that's used for drilling pilot holes and cleaning. And then of course we got our three different drill bits, uh, three, a 2mm, 3mm, and a 4mm. Now just back to the cordless drill real quickly. Oh, I'm sorry, we of course we have super glue. Now the reason why I have the cordless drill is it spins at a lower rotation, so it's, you know, there's going to be a lot less risk if you eating straight through the model or the bit that you're drilling. So just that's the reason why I would use a cordless drill compared to an axle drill. So since I got this out of the bits box, I'm just filing up the um, the arm sockets, I guess you could call them, just make sure the flat and level. And now I'm starting to drill my pilot hole here. So I'm gonna try and get it to the middle as most as I can. You really wanna make sure you get as close to the middle as possible, cause that's where your magnet center is gonna be. So I'm just making sure I'm double checking and then I'm just going to drill my pilot hole like you see. So I'm just going to show you now. Now you don't need to go too, too deep, you just need somewhere that the um, the bit is going to be able to catch. So you're not trying to start off just, you know, by with the bit. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the arms. Like I said, you want to make sure you get as close to the middle as possible. Now I'm um, just just while this is going, I'm, I'm do of course I'm recording over it after. Um, you know, if you want to start off, this it's easy to start off. Now I'll have a link to the description below for all these tools, or or maybe not, or if you're interested in knowing what tools. But I mean, the magnets I got on eBay and they're relatively cheap. I mean, it was like five bucks for a hundred of them. The drill bits, eBay once again it cost twelve bucks for a whole set of them. The cordless drill I think was $40, which the electrical screwdriver, you might be able to find it cheaper. Now I do, now I'm just showing you the little pilot holes of course. Now uh, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually drill. So of course you always start off with a 2 mm magnet. You always want to go up in size. You could even go 2, 2.53, but I don't do that. So I'm just showing you right here. Now this is the first pilot hole I guess you could say. Well I guess this is the first drill into the pilot hole. It doesn't need to go down too deep, you know, you just want to make sure you want to go up in sizes and make it easier on the bit and on the model itself. So I'm just going to show you now. No, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to go now. Here is, I'm going to show you something now. I'm going very light because this is a very thin bit. And if I had a normal drill, it'd be easy for the bit to just, the drill bit to go right through the actual arm. So I'm going ki kind of light because I don't want to drill through it. It's easier to, you know, go light and then heavy and so forth. So now I'm just going to show you the models. To show you the two holes. Now we gotta remember that the um, four millimeter magnet is two millimeters thick, and the three millimeter magnet is one millimeter thick. So that's gonna play a role at the end. So now what you do is you just go up to your next bit size. So this is our uh, three millimeter drill bit. So we will go in at the orc boy first, the actual boy itself. Now this drill bit is uh, a bit bent, and I need to order a new set. But yeah, um. So what I'm doing is I'm just drilling and I do apologize if I do go off screen. Now you also want to make sure that you do this before you paint your models. I did this with an orc boy I had in the bits box. I didn't actually have any unbuilt models that I needed to build right now. But you want to make sure you do it before you paint. And um, here I'm going to show you. See now it is a one millimeter thick magnet. 
so we want to make sure we don't drill through the bit and we want to make sure we have enough depth so you know I don't want you to jam the drill as hard as you can go lightly now you're gonna see me use my hand at first but because of the awkwardness of the bit I'm sorry the arm the arms kind of caved in at the back it's kind of circular kind of circular at the back so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this first and I do need a new, new drill bit and it would have worked a lot better with a new drill bit but now I'm trying and it's just not doing what I needed to do so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to put it down in a second on the hard surface and then I'm going to drill so that's where you see here I'm still being very careful that I don't go through the arm itself now just as this is going I'm going to do that to both arms and I'm going to show you like I said you want to do this to new models that you had just assembled and you want to plan it out you don't want to like I know uh, a marine or an orc boy is fine just because you know you can just drill the arms and magnetize the arms but if you have a centurion or you have a vehicle or so forth you always want to plan out your magnetization I do like magnetizing I do like building I'm not very good at painting I do try to paint once in a while but I do want to do more tutorials on building and magnetizing especially for drill models and so forth so now you'll see that I'm just you know showing you that it's got it got it to the right depth that I want it to go to and um, now we're gonna go move up from the three millimeter drag drill bit and uh, you know what I'm just gonna finish there but anyways make sure you plan things out and you have the right equipment this whole setup with all the magnets I think I have uh, 10 different sizes of magnets all my drill bits less than a hundred dollars and I mean yeah you have to wait a month for some stuff to come in now I'm just showing you that uh, two millimeter thickness so we want to make sure we get deep enough now you don't have to be as careful with the orc bore because of course you just drill it into his body if you come out the other side it's gonna come out the other drill hole but like I said you do want to be careful still so you know just check get rid of the random junk the stuff left over on a drill bit and Continue, you want to make sure you get deep enough in, so that's what I'm doing right here, and I'll do that to the other side as well. Now, like I said, it's all about your tools, and it's, it's really easy. Now, I have green stuff in the background I'm going to show you a bit later on. Um, you, you don't really need green stuff because I'm drilling the exact sizes of the magnets. The holes are going to be the exact sizes, so they should fit nice and snug in. If you're doing bigger projects, such as a hive tyrant and so forth, and you might need to get fill some holes, fill some gaps. If you go too deep in a model and the magnet, you might want to fill that um, and so forth. Now I'm just cleaning up all the holes. You know, it's good to make sure there's no gunk remaining from the drilling on the inside. Get a nice, smooth fit. Oh wait, so I'm just cleaning that up now. I'm just cleaning up all the bits. And I'm going to uh, show you in a minute about polarity. Now, this is the first model I'm magnetizing. So, the polarity doesn't really matter. But let's say this is the 19th, 20th, 2nd, you know, the 100th model. Then you want to make sure the polarity matches up. So, for argument's sake, we'll say this is the first model in the army that I am magnetizing. So, I'm showing you the file right now. And that's how I'm going to put the magnet on. So, because, you know, this is the first model of the polarity, polarity not really matter so I'm gonna put a bit of super glue you don't want to fill it up you just want to get the super glue on a couple on some of the sides you know just so you have something to hold the model then you just push it in now this works wonderfully for a flat surface now I'm just pushing it in I'm gonna make sure that it is you know nice and um, flush with the surface so yeah and I'll show you that in a second now if you don't have a flat surface it gets a bit harder but you can still make sure it's flush in certain ways and I'll do a, a video in the future showing you methods on how to do that but for now for marine an orc boy even lots of the monstrous creatures this is good um, I'm not sure if I touched on the green stuff so far but there is green stuff in the back that you could use to help and aid in this situation but because the drill bit is the exact same size as the model we don't as the magnet we don't really need that so now I'm gonna match up the polarity now matching up polarity is very important because you don't want to have you know certain models with certain polarity and certain arms you want to make sure the whole army matches so that's what I'm doing with this arm I want to make sure that both arms have the same polarity facing the out side so I'm showing you that that's how it needs to be so t in order to do that we want to make sure that you know it's going to match we want to make sure the same polarity is on the outside of each magnet now right now I'm showing you is the magnets do not go together which means that the polarity is not the same so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the model around or flip the magnet around and I'm gonna show you that that's what it needs to be so I'm gonna flip the magnet around eventually on it and make sure we have the same polarity now 
way, the way that works is for the arms, you want the same side going out on the same side for the arms, obviously. So you're going to see right now that it clicks together. And that's what I want. So that means that the polarity is, uh, the magnet is the same way in the model as it is on the thing. So let's go ahead and put some glue in there. Now you're going to see that I put too much glue. I'm just trying to show you the glue. So I'm just putting glue. Now you see I put too much glue. It's always handy to have a, a paint towel or a rag just to uh, get the excess glue off because you don't want that wrecking your model. So the same thing as before, you just push it in and make it nice and flush with the model. Okay, and there you go. I'm just making sure it's nice and flush and so forth and getting it even. So that is the Orc Boy now. So you'll see I'm just going to show you nice and flush there. Nice and flush there. Okay, next we're going to do the arm. So now I'm just showing you, this is why I explained the green stuff. I'm just showing you in case you needed it. But we didn't need it for this magnetization. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the 3 millimeter magnets. And we already have the holes pre-gelled. And I'm, now I'm trying to make sure, no, I'm not trying to, I'm guaranteeing to make sure I have the right polarity. So we see that that does not, so the way I'm holding the magnets right now does not, um, Oh, sorry, you know what? That was just showing you it's the same polarity. But now I'm doing the arms, and we just want to make sure that we get the polarity right. So we're going to make sure. So what we basically, what would happen is there's going to be a magnet on the other end. So we want to make sure the polarity matches up. So same thing as before. Um, now... I'm going to show you in a second. We're going to place the magnet on the file. And we're going to do the same thing. Since the bit is flat, it's easy to do. So I was just having a bit of trouble. So we're going to pull the magnet off. And now we'll always double, triple, quadruple check to make sure the magnet's the right size. Because it's possible to get the magnet out. And we can show you how to do that in a future video. But I'm just showing you it on right there. But it's just, it's a, it's a pain. So you're going to see that it clicks together. Now that's not good because the face... Um, because the face facing outside the file or the one that would be touching the model is the face that's going to be on the inside of the bit. So we want to make sure the face that is attached to the file is the face that we would need to be on the outside. So you're going to see right now that it doesn't, you know, it doesn't polarize or doesn't click together. That's good because that means that that face is going to be on the inside of the bit. Now same thing, we're going to put some glue and of course it's a very shallow or one millimeter, um, indent so we want to make sure we wipe off the extra glue because we don't want lots of glue glue can ruin a model and so forth and uh, we're just going to push make it nice and flat now unfortunately this is uh, where my drill bit problem came into effect and it just didn't work it did work but it do it's not as flush I would like it as I would like it as you see the next arm is but you know it still looks good you wouldn't notice it with paint but just make sure you know you take you keep that in mind Whereas it's not as flush as I would like it to be. Now I'm just going to put the next ma next magnet in, and I'm making sure the polarity matches up once again. I'm making sure that the the, the the magnet facing on the file towards the model is not going to be in contact with the model, because that means the magnet facing the side of the file is going to be the one we want on the outside. Um, I might be explaining it weird, but that makes sense in my mind. But anyways, so I'm just doing that now. So uh, it's coming to the near the end of this video and uh, hopefully we get the new tripod soon so we can get the above field view for the next type of thing. But if you like this type of video, let me know. I'm just showing you right now the flushness and you'll see that this bit is the one that was messed up. Um, it's not exactly flush, but it still works. So I'm just going to um, show you the final product. I'm going to magnetize it. But if you like this style of video, certainly let me know. Um, if you have any tips, any tricks, or any um, ideas, I know I... I'm not the best at fluid speaking, and I'm sure I'll get better as I do this type of video and tutorial. But anyways, thank you for watching this Basement Collective uh, video. I'm not sure the exact name, something like On the Painting Table or so forth. Um, as always, uh, we did release the newest campaign video, and we released the first battle report this Wednesday. So next Wednesday, you can expect the next battle report. So what are now? Um, uh, not the next battle report, but the next fluff segment. So certainly check that out. We have the Imperial Knight giveaway going once we get to 2,000 subscribers. 
I will certainly be giving that away and will be giving that away. So certainly enter that if you haven't seen that video as of yet or entered into that video. But I do want to thank you guys for watching this video and hopefully it helped you out. Um, other than that guys, keep on wargaming.